FTX filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy, leading the crypto market into a massive crash. The cryptocurrency market has been hit really hard lately. This week's drop comes after weeks of relative stability for Bitcoin, Ethereum, and other prominent currencies. Bitcoin and Ethereum have since fallen by more than 20% in just this past week or so. The fall was triggered by new investor uncertainty and negative sentiment followed by Nance's announcement on November the 9th that it would acquire its rival FTX after fears about FTX's liquidity were raised. However, Binance pulled out of the deal, which resulted in FTX having to file for bankruptcy. So why is FTX filing for bankruptcy? Is there any way for them to save themselves? And what's going to happen to the investors who are holding their money in FTX exchange? Stay tuned as we reveal everything about the FTX bankruptcy and try to answer all the questions surrounding it. First, what is Chapter 11 bankruptcy and why is FTX going down that road? Sam Bankman Fried's crypto empire filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy in Delaware, confirming the company's fast collapse. According to a tweet, the filings included entities associated with FTX.com, FTX US, and trading firm Almeda Research Limited. A Chapter 11 bankruptcy allows a business to continue operating while it works out a repayment plan with its investors. Bankman Fried resigned as CEO as part of the filings, and John J. Ray III was named to succeed him, according to the statement. The crisis hit FTX swiftly as prices for the exchange's native crypto token FTT dropped and users rushed to withdraw their funds. Because of this, rival crypto exchange leader Chang Peng Zhao announced the sale of $520 million in FTT coins. Zhao's Binance Holdings tentatively agreed to buy FTX.com during the exchange's liquidity crisis, but backed out after a brief period of what they call due diligence. So what does this mean for crypto investors? The fall of FTX shows the dangers of investing in the cryptocurrency market. One day, you're cruising at good levels, and the next thing you know, you're rushing to withdraw your money in a traditional bank run. Now that FTX has declared bankruptcy, the exchange has seized all withdrawals and new customer onboarding, as well as strongly encouraging customers not to deposit money into their accounts. The exchange is scrambling to give answers to its investors while negotiating a repayment arrangement with its creditors. What happens to investors in the case of a company's bankruptcy is normally governed by its terms of service and user agreement, but neither of FTX's agreements mentioned this potential occurrence. Furthermore, crypto is not covered by the federal government through FDIC insurance, and FTX's insurance coverage, like many other exchanges, only covers certain crime events, such as theft and fraud. This means that as it currently stands, FTX investors are out of luck because its insurance does not cover the exchange if it fails. FTX investors will have to wait and see what happens as this situation continues to evolve. The exchange said on November the 10th that it has just reached an agreement with Tron Credit Facility to allow BitTorrent, Tronix, JST, Sun, and Huobo token holders to withdraw their holdings from the platform. Experts recommend keeping your cryptocurrency investments under 5% of your portfolio and only investing what you can afford to lose, as long as they don't stand in the way of your other financial goals. If you're in a good spot financially, however, and ready to enter the market, some experts are saying that now may be a good time to buy Bitcoin, Ethereum, or some other cryptocurrencies. You can check our videos to help you understand more about any coin you're interested in. While prices are low, keep in mind that there is always a possibility that they could fall further. So why is the whole crypto market crashing? The crash is most likely caused by the ongoing controversy at FTX. Binance is the world's largest centralized cryptocurrency exchange, and FTX was one of the main rivals to Binance. It won't be only FTX users who suffer. This collapse affects a lot of different parties, ranging from holders of FTX-related assets to FTX employees, crypto VCs, and other institutions that invested in the project, such as BlackRock, Paradigm, and the Ontario Pension Fund. In the coming weeks, we can expect a lot of other ugly things to surface, and various players in the crypto space seem to be taking precautions. Following the announcement of FTX's bankruptcy, many investors have been disappointed. According to Bloomberg, Sam Bankman Fried, who was earlier praised as the crypto industry's white knight, has suddenly lost more than 94% of his wealth in a single day. 
Investors are already concerned about the regulators' reactions. The SEC will reportedly expand its investigation into FTX, focusing on potential securities law violations, according to the Wall Street Journal. The sudden crash of one of the world's largest and fastest growing cryptocurrency exchanges within days when little to no red flags indicated that would impact the crypto market more when it's already a damaged market after a year of economic crisis. U.S. exchanges are subject to more regulation and have higher requirements than international exchanges, but recent events might cause even more regulatory scrutiny. Things are a mess. We expect cracks elsewhere in the crypto space over the next few weeks. With this in mind, make sure that you're always in complete control of your portfolio and take the time to plan your next steps thoroughly. The winter is long, but crypto will survive. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video or learned something new, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to be the first to watch the following videos for more Crypto Web3 NFT blockchain updates and news.